In 1948, I was a student at the yeshiva. In 1947, I had graduated the college, but I was in the yeshiva, of course, in the rough shear, uh, making my way towards smicha, even as I was doing graduate work at Columbia with Sailor W. Baron. And then came May the 15th, 1948, which was the fifth day of year. It was a Friday. And all of us in the dormitory, which at that time consisted of what today is the Muss building on 187th Street, were getting ready for Shabbos. The day was getting closer. Everybody was concerned because those who were the leaders of the Jewish people in what was then Palestine were meeting in order to decide whether to create a Jewish state. Mm -hmm. They didn't have very much encouragement on any level. At any rate, throughout the dormitory, radios were on. It's the pre-television uh, Twitter area, era rather. And everyone was listening intently, waiting to hear what the news would be. And then finally, as we got close to Shabbos, they broke in into the radio and they announced that the leaders of the Jewish people in the land of Israel had proclaimed the state of Israel. Mm -hmm. And at that point, something happened that has remained with me for the rest of my life. Spontaneously, throughout the dormitory, the boys began to sing the Hatikva. And you won't be surprised if I tell you that tears filled my eyes just as undoubtedly it did the eyes of many of my colleagues in the dormitory at that moment. Sixty-three years have passed. The Jewish state <clears throat> is here, <clears throat> it's strong, it's resilient, and it's surrounded on every side by so many different enemies. In the, in the interim, three of my children now live in Israel, as do 15 of my grandchildren, all of whom have served their country. The boys through Hesder in the army, and the girls, of course, in the year, year and a half, that they spend doing all kinds of good works. My only hope is that 63 years from today, that you will be able to celebrate the 126th birthday of the State of Israel, Yechim Medinat Yisrael.